Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, ready to get back at it today. Uh, it is Monday leading up to uh, Saturday being the day of the party. Uh, today is going to be probably doing a lot of lighting, running the rest of the electrical for lighting, putting up the, uh, I have about four or five uh, floodlights that need to get put up. So doing those, um, putting up some step pads, which I'm kind of already working on now. Uh, let me turn the camera on. So I have uh, Frankenstein's uh, step pad here. So when they go, they'll have access to Frankenstein, uh, getting all the floodlights uh, put up on the walls. And then um, probably finishing some of the streamers, um, putting up. Let me show you. I actually added some uh, two by two walls as reinforcement over the weekend. Went ahead and, and just did that off camera, kind of do it away from the sun. Uh, but this is all now uh, two by two walled in. And I have some down at the graveyard as well. Uh, so a lot more structural rigidity kind of where it was necessary. Um, I'm going to purposely leave the clown room of disaster for now. The clown room is going to stay kind of, it's really just the sheeting that's down. And I don't know if I'm going to get different streamers or whatnot, but I'm going to leave this probably till Wednesday or Thursday. Um, seems to be one of the harder hit rooms for wind. So I'm going to leave that and do that as it gets a little closer as the wind kind of seems to be dying down between now and the party on Saturday. Uh, so going to run all that now. This room that I'm in, um, also going to leave kind of open and leave this like this, leave that sheeting like that. I'm um, not only going to give me temporary access uh, as I need to get in and out now uh, to do repairs, um, but also another kind of wind tunnel, I guess you would say. So I'm going to leave this one as is for now. This will be probably a uh, Wednesday, Thursday room as well. So going to work on the rest of the rooms. Jack and Sally, Nightmare Before Christmas room, uh, Frankenstein, uh, the other witch's room, the witch's cauldron room, and the swamp and the spider webs, probably between now and Wednesday, and then the rest of it um, beyond. And then again, the graveyard still going to be Friday, hopefully, uh, otherwise Saturday as a last um, desperate effort so that's where we're at now stay tuned and i'll give you guys some updates bye frank hey, i thought i'd jump on for an update uh, i spent about two hours uh mainly working on uh, tying up some electrical behind the scenes that kind of got messed up from the wind uh got that all settled i believe um from my counts are correct and working on the jack and sally nightmare before christmas room so uh, let me show you here i'm sure liz will have some um Great touch-ups, but I'm pretty happy with what I've been able to do here. So you, uh, this is the pad. Let me back up a little bit. So this is the witch with the cauldron. Uh, still need to finish, but this is the witch room here with the cauldron. Um, kind of made these sheets here. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, let me back up a little bit. But uh, the sheeting pass-throughs on the kitty section, I've made uh, purposely higher off the ground. That way... Uh, maybe it'll touch the top of the kids' heads, um, but if they're nervous or scared, they can they can easily see into the next room. Uh, but for adults or even maybe you know nine ten year olds, probably going to see here. So uh, they'll still have their view block. They can still have a kind of their own adventure, so to speak. But the the little babies at least will kind of be able to see as they go. Uh, so that kind of continues on in here um, a little bit, not not quite as extreme. But I have a couple that I cut smaller so they can kind of peek in if they want to do that and again for the adults the adults kind of see up here uh, so much more covered for the adults and then that continues here a little peek through pass through um, and then the adults obviously again and then this one here enters the nightmare before Christmas room so uh, don't mind Sally she's just kind of holding that for me here I got all the lights uh, put up above they go all the way across and then I have this garland kind of creepy cloth here. And then all the lights go across over there. Um, I have the pumpkins placed here. Those will all be lit up. Uh, two more pumpkins over here also be lit up. Uh, just a silly ghost from five and below. He's got fairy lights in him, so he'll be lit up. I'm probably going to put fairy lights in zero as well. So zero's lit up. Um, or I might try to find a way uh, to illuminate his nose. Uh, these pumpkins will be lit up here. Um, these pumpkins will be lit up here. And then here, um, I've mentioned in a previous 
vlog that these tables, we're going to have about four or five of these tables. Let me clear some stuff out of the way. Get all this trash out of the way. We're going to have about four or five of these tables for the kids to go through. And they're going to be filled with slime and gross worms and whatever. And then each of the eyeballs are going to be numbered based on however many kids we have. If we have right now, we're currently set for about 17 kids. So um, I have a couple of these bags, but um, they're set for uh, each number, one through however many kids. Some of them will be in here. Some of them will be in the other. Again, there's four total locations or stations. And then the kids that go through and pull out just one of the eyeballs, whatever that number is, uh, then they're going to get a $5 Baskin Robbins gift card, um, as well as some small little goodies. So, uh, really fun. Hopefully that's a really cool extra adventure for the kids. So if some of the kids go through super fast or super scared, might not even see it, might not even want to touch it, uh, give them an alter, uh, another reason to come back through the haunt a second time. Cause they want to pick up a ping pong ball or, or I mean an eyeball cause they're seeing all their friends with eyeballs. Um, installed some floodlights around. I'll mess with the colors in the night. Um, this whole room uh, should be purple. I'm hoping purple kind of works out with also the regular tea light colors. Um, but I want this to be kind of purple. I think that'll go well with the Nightmare Before Christmas theme. Um, this is specifically to try to light up Jack. So I'm not sure if that's just going to be white or purple. I will, I will play with that as I go. Um, the other streamers here, more lights here. And then you can see I have the other uh, floodlight here. This one most likely is going to be green um, or purple for the graveyard. So that's kind of my work for right now. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. When I come back, I'm either going to go onto the spider web room or the swamp and try to work on that. Uh, so if I do, I'll have an update for you. Uh, if not, uh, it's been fantastic. I still have plenty of time in the day, so just matter if I got enough energy to do it or not. Um, so, been a great time, and hopefully it cuts to the next video. If not, uh, talk to you soon. Hey guys, thought I would do a quick update. Uh, first time kind of showing at night, uh, at least one room or so. Uh, so let me show you kind of the night Christmas room here. Um, not all the lights are on. None of the battery lights are on. Just the uh, connected lights. There's Jack. I'll turn him off real quick. So we have this light uh, in person. It makes it look a lot more like it's a black and white scene, which is pretty cool. Or like a little bit more muted Tim Burton kind of colors. So I uh, really like that. Everything's kind of a lot more muted in here. Um, and then the table and the pumpkins and all these pumpkins that goes zero, all that will all be lit up as well. So there'll be a lot more light in here uh, once we're ready. But um, pretty cool to see this <coughs> excuse me and then quickly over here we have the witch kind of backlit here uh, we put a backdrop on her and have her kind of lit up um, with the uh, cauldron here the cauldron will be bubbling here you can't see it it just looks like a black hole there but it'll be bubbling uh, with LEDs and all that. But there's the witch. And I'll kind of put her on real quick. The witching hour is here. It's pretty cool. And there's nothing it's to a lot more light of. in person. I don't know if it's really shown through on the camera. But pretty cool. The backdrop and everything. So I'll turn her off. So that's where we are for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, see you tomorrow.